In this video, we're going to look at finding the area of compound shapes. We're going to look at two examples. The first example, we're going to have all the lengths of that compound shape available to us. They were given in the question. And then the second example, we're going to have um, some missing or unknown sides. So, let me draw out our first compound shape. Just like that. And put on the lengths. Compound shapes are shapes which have been created by adding two or more basic shapes together. So that could be a square and a rectangle, two squares, two rectangles, or even triangles we're only going to look at squares and rectangles today. Um, we're finding the area, so that is the amount of space taken up by the shape. So it could be, let's just shade it all in, all of the blue space all around here. So, when we're trying to find the area of a compound shape, it's important to split it into two shapes, either a square and a rectangle, two rectangles or two squares. So here we could either split it this way, so we've got two here, like that, or we could split it this way. I'm going to split it this way. So now I have a red rectangle I'm going to call that A, and I have a green square, and that's B. Now I can find the area of A and the area of B, and that, and add them together, and that will give us the area of the whole compound shape. So the area of A, the area of A will equal our length multiplied by our width. So that'd be six times five. Six times five is 30. The area of our green square, three times three. You'll notice this compound shape hasn't really been drawn to scale. This three is larger than this three. Um, and uh, this five is the same length, this three. Um, that's just uh, my drawing. So 3 times 3 is 9. Let's add together our the two areas of our shapes. 30 at 9 makes 39. And if all of these lengths were centimetres, our area would be centimetres squared. So that's example 1, where we've been given all of the lengths of the different sides. Now we're going to look at an example where we don't get given the lengths of the different sides. And this is a little bit more challenging and is often, is often where children find things challenging. We've got nine, seven. Again, I know it's not nine squares here. We're just uh, thinking that we've got uh, nine centimeters here. And seven centimeters up here. I'm going to say this is six and this is two. So, got our compound shape. We can either split it down here or we could split it along here. I'm going to say I'm going to split it down here to create two rectangles. Rectangle A, red rectangle, and rectangle, oh, rectangle B, green rectangle. So we want to find the area of both these shapes. Now, you'll see that we've got a width for A. So when we're looking to find out a, we know we're going to do six, but we don't have 
a length. Now we can work that out using the two other lengths, seven and two. If this whole length is seven and this little bit here is two, we know that two at this length must make seven. They combine together, or two at this length must make seven. So it's two add five. So A is six times five, which makes 30. B, we've got our length, that's seven, but we don't have a width. Again, we can use our two other widths to help us. If all of this is nine, and this bit here is six, we know that six add this bit must make nine, because we know this bit here is six, and this bit we don't know at the moment, this bit here. Um, six add what makes nine? Six add three makes nine. So we've got our width now for B, as well as our length. Seven times three makes 21. So our, our whole area is 30 add 21, which equals 51 centimetres squared, if we're assuming that all of these lengths are centimetres.